There is a wide range of ways in which people have represented World War II in popular culture. Many works were created during the years of conflict and many more have arisen from that period of world history. Some well-known examples of books about the war, like Nobel laureate Kenzaburo O's Okinawa Notes, could only have been crafted in retrospect. Art The years of warfare were the backdrop for art which is now preserved and displayed in such institutions as the Imperial War Museum in London and the National Maritime Museum at Greenwich. Iconic memorials created after the war are designed as symbols of remembrance and as carefully contrived works of art. Literature <inaudible> 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 The war also figures prominently in many thousands of novels and other works of literature, including many published in the 1990s and 2000s. Topic: <inaudible> Poetry. High Flight 1941 by John Gillespie McGee Jr., US pilot flying with a Canadian Spitfire squadron during the Battle of Britain. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Drama. Misha, A Memoir of the Holocaust Years 1997. Watch on the Rhine 1940. Winged Victory 1943. Mr. Roberts 1948. South Pacific 1953. <laughs> Novels This Above All 1941, by Eric Knight the Snow Goose, 1941, by Paul Gallico. The Harvey Girls, 1942, by Samuel Hopkins Adams. Signed with Their Honor, 1942, by James Aldridge. The Ship, 1943, by C. S. Forrester. The Small Back Room, 1943, by Nigel Balchin. The Diary of a Young Girl, 1944, by Anne Frank. A Bell for Adano, 1944, by John Hersey. A Walk in the Sunday 1944, by Harry Brown Fair Stood the Wind for France 1944, by H. E. Bates I've Got Mine 1945, later published as Walk into Hell, by Richard G. Hubler Tales of the South Pacific 1947, by James A. Michener The End of My Life 1947, by Vance Borgeli the Long Green Shore 1947, not published until 1995, by John Hepworth Command Decision 1947, by William Wister Haynes Every Man Dies Alone 1947, later published as Alone in Berlin, by Hans Falada From the City, From the Plow 1948, by Alexander Baron Stalingrad 1948, by Theodor Pleavier Mr. Roberts 1948, by Thomas Hegan the Naked and the Dead 1948, by Norman Mailer The Young Lions 1948, by Erwin Shaw A Town Like Alice 1950, by Naville Shute The Ridge and the River 1950, by Tom Hungerford writing as T. A. G. Hungerford Fires on the Plain 1951, by Uka Shohei The Cruel Sea 1951, by Nicholas Montserrat The Cane Mutiny 1951, by Herman Wouk Look Down in Mercy 1951 by Walter Baxter The 20,000 Thieves 1951 by Eric Lambert The Bridge Over the River Kwai 1952 by Pierre Boulle Sword of Honor Trilogy 1952 to 1961 by Evelyn Waugh The Sea Shall Not Have Them 1953 by John Harris Battle Cry 1953 by Leon Uris Legion of the Damned 1953 by Sven Hassel Sharks and Little Fish 1954 by Wolfgang Ott The Climate of Courage 1954 by John Cleary HMS Ulysses 1955 by Alistair MacLean The Big Pickup 1955 by Elliston Trevor The Willing Flesh 1955 later published as Cross of Iron by Willie Heinrich 633 Squadron 1956 by Frederick E Smith Bitter Victory 1956 by René Hardy The Big War 1957 by Anton Myrer 
Never So Few 1957, by Tom T. Chalamet's Ice Cold in Alex 1957, by Christopher Landon The Bridge 1958, by Gregor Dorfmeister The Last Blue Sea 1959, by David Denholm writing as David Forrest The Tin Drum 1959, by Gunter Grass Life and Fate 1959, by Vasily Grossman Fortunes of War series 1960 to 1980 by Olivia Manning Catch 22 1961 by Joseph Heller Hit the Beach 1961 by Arthur A. Ageton The Thin Red Line 1962 by James Jones King Rat 1962 by James Clavell And Then We Heard the Thunder 1962 by John Oliver Killens the Night of the Generals 1962 by Hans Helmut Kirst The Long Days Dying 1962 by Alan White The Valley of Bones 1964 part of the cycle of novels A Dance to the Music of Time by Anthony Powell Castle Keep 1965 by William Eastlake The Painted Bird 1965 by Jerzy Kaczynski The Emperor of Ice Cream 1965 by Brian Moore the Dirty Dozen 1965 by E. M. Nathanson Flesh Wounds 1966 by David Holbrook The Captain 1967 by Jan de Hartig Murphy's War 1969 by Max Cato Slaughterhouse 5 1969 by Kurt Vonnegut Bomber 1970 by Len Dayton A Flock of Ships 1970 by Brian Callison Das Boot 1973 by Lothar Gunther Buchheim Gravity's Rainbow 1973 by Thomas Pinchon The Last Dogfight 1973 by Martin Caden Hanging On 1973 by Dean Kuntz The Machine Gunners 1975 by Robert Westel Birdie 1978 by William Wharton Sophie's Choice 1979 by William Styron Famous Last Words 1981 by Timothy Findlay Schindler's Ark 1982 later published as Schindler's List by Thomas Keneally Piece of Cake 1983 by Derek Robinson Empire of the Sunday 1984 by J G Ballard The English Patient 1992 by Michael Ondatya Captain Corelli's Mandolin 1994 by Louis de Berniers Blackout 1995 by John Lawton Enigma 1995 by Robert Harris The Reader 1995 by Bernhard Schlink Hearts War 1999 by John Katzenbach The Book of Kings 1999 by James Thackera War of the Rats 1999 by David L Robbins Charlotte Gray 1999 by Sebastian Fox the Bronze Horseman 2000 by Paulina Simons The Siege 2001 by Helen Dunmore Atonement 2001 by Ian McEwan The Book Thief 2005 by Marcus Zusak A Thread of Grace 2005 by Mary Doria Russell The Boy in the Striped Pajamas 2006 by John Boyne The Eternal Zero 2006 by Naoki Hiyakuda City of Thieves 2008 by David Benioff The Girl in the Blue Beret 2011 by Bobby Ann Mason Life After Life 2013 by Kate Atkinson All the Light We Cannot See 2014 by Anthony Dort Topic Manga Barefoot Gen Onward Towards Our Noble Deaths Showa A History of Japan Tetsujin 28 Go Topic. Movies and television Social historians regard the works of popular culture from the World War II era as documents that mirror and define crucial issues and concerns during that time. Individual combatants and those on the home fronts during World War II experienced the war through newspaper reports, radio broadcasts, films, stage plays, books and popular music. All become noteworthy aspects of understanding the period and its impact on what happened afterward. World War II has provided material for many films, television programs and books, beginning during the war. 
The film aspect had reached its peak by the 1960s, with films such as The Longest Day which had been adapted from a book, The Great Escape, Patton and Battle of Britain. In the UK the actor Sir John Mills became particularly associated with war dramas, such as The Cold It Story 1954, Above Us The Waves 1955, and Ice Cold in Alex 1958, and was seen as the personification of Britain at war, conveying heroism and humility. Movies about World War II continued for the rest of the 20th century and into the 21st century, the less in number and included Schindler's List 1993 film, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas 2009 film, The Thin Red Line 1998, Saving Private Ryan 1998, Flags of Our Fathers 2006, and Red Tails 2012 about the African-American air fighter pilots of the Tuskegee Airmen. Movies and television programs about the war continued to be made into the 21st century, including the television miniseries Band of Brothers, The Pacific and Dunkirk. The majority of World War II films are portrayed from the Allied perspective increasingly being limited to that of the Americans. Some exceptions include Das Boot, Der Untergang, Letters from Iwo Jima, Stalingrad, Joy Division, and Cross of Iron. World War II used to provide most of the material for the USA TV channel, the History Channel. Mel Brooks used the theme in the fictitious musical, Springtime for Hitler, and in his 1968 film and 2001 musical, The Producers. A number of television comedy sitcoms are based on the war, e.g. Hogan's Heroes from America, which follows the actions of a group of Allied POWs involved in covert activities. Three British sitcoms from David Croft are Allo, Allo, which makes fun of the French resistance forces, Dad's Army which satirizes the British Home Guard, an anti-invasion force of men who are old or in poor health so cannot join the forces, and It Ain't Half Hot Mum about a forces concert party entertaining troops in India and Burma. In the sixth episode of Faulty Towers, Basil Faulty played by John Cleese bases his comical routine on the paramount need that he and his staff be polite and don't mention the war to their German guests, a task in which he signally and repeatedly fails himself. In 2009, an anime adaptation of the webcomic Italia, Axis Powers was released and parodies the characters as countries and their transactions in the war through social adult issues. Many non-war related TV shows in the USA, such as The Simpsons, South Park, Family Guy, The Looney Tunes Show and Seinfeld frequently make reference to World War II related persons and subjects, such as Adolf Hitler, Franklin Roosevelt, battles during the war, the Holocaust and the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. During the war several Donald Duck shorts were also propaganda films. Topic. Holocaust films. Also, some films and TV series attempt to show and educate the future generation about the horror of racism and discrimination when taken into a national frenzy by making films based on the Holocaust and other German war crimes. Movies like Schindler's List, Anne Frank, The Whole Story, Life is Beautiful, The Devil's Arithmetic, The Pianist, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas and many other films depict the hardship the Jews endured in Auschwitz and other concentration camps. Topic. Eastern Asia Due to the still sensitive subject between China, Japan and Korea, the war in the Pacific and the Second Sino-Japanese War is hardly made into any historical war films intended for entertainment use in these countries. However, reference about the ongoing war as a background setting is heavily used as a setpiece to drive the storyline on. For example, Hong Kong martial arts films have used the cartoon villain. Portrayal of Japanese soldiers or generals being defeated by the Chinese lead character in an attempt to stop the Japanese from using biological weapons or stealing Chinese treasures films like Fist of Fury, Millionaire's Express and Fist of Legend. Some films that depict Japanese war crimes were also made, such as the controversial exploitation film Men Behind the Sun. More serious documentary-style films have also been made such as the German-made documentary Nanking. However the depiction of the defense of Sahang Warehouse was made in 1938, one year after the actual Battle of Shanghai, probably one of the earliest Sino-Japanese war film intended for entertainment and moral-boosting propaganda. 
Also recently, to celebrate the Chinese Red Army first victory out of two major battles the Communists actually fought over the Japanese, a heavy-handed propaganda film that depict the Battle of Pingxingguan was made in 2005 to commemorate the 60th anniversary. However it was heavily criticized by the government of Taiwan, accusing the PRC government for hiding the truth by discrediting the Nationalist Revolutionary Army who took the brunt of the battles as it was they who did most of the fighting against the invaders in more than 20 battles. Actually, the PRC has made several films focusing on battles fought by nationalist soldiers, such as the Battle of Taerjuang and Battle of Kunlun Pass. South Korea, which still has strong anti-Japanese sentiments, recently made a TV series about the Japanese assassination of Empress Myeongsung and the unfair treatment of the Korean people. Several films based on Kim Doo Han as a freedom fighter were made. Topic: <laughs> Anti-Nazism and anti-fascism. Confessions of a Nazi Spy, 1939. Night Train to Munich, 1940. The Great Dictator, 1940. Man Hunt, 1941. Casablanca, 1942. Watch on the Rhine, 1943. Film version of 1940 play on Broadway. Topic: Patriotism. Sherlock Holmes and the Secret Weapon, 1942. The Voice of Terror, 1942. Yankee Doodle Dandy 1942 Sherlock Holmes in Washington 1943 Topic Heroism A Yank in the RAF 1941 Wake Island 1942 Guadalcanal Diary 1943 The Fighting Sullivans 1944 Winged Victory 1944, film version of 1943 play on Broadway Sands of Iwo Jima 1949. The Guns of Navarone 1961. The Bridge at Raymogan 1969. Saving Private Ryan 1998. Flags of Our Fathers 2006, film version of 2000 book Letters from Iwo Jima 2006, Red Tails 2012, Captain America, The First Avenger 2011, Fury 2014, Hacksaw Ridge 2016, Dunkirk 2017 Topic Wartime problems Thank Your Lucky Stars 1943, The More the Merrier 1943 Cover Girl 1944 Since You Went Away 1944 A Bell for Adano 1945 Film version of 1944 Pulitzer Prize winning novel Topic Escapism Sun Valley Serenade 1941 Harvey 1950 Film version of 1944 Play on Broadway Oklahoma 1955 Film version of 1943 Play on Broadway Arsenic and Old Lace 1944 Film version of 1941 Play on Broadway The Harvey Girls 1946, film version of 1942 novel topic Propaganda Target for Tonight 1941 U-Boot Westwarts 1941 Battle of Midway 1942 topic Games Traditional board wargaming has replicated World War II from the tactical to the grand strategic levels. Axis and Allies and other such games continue to be popular. Avalon Hill and other wargame companies produced such complex games as Squad Leader and Panzerblitz in the 1970s. Other popular World War II games still in production include Australian design groups World in Flames and Decision Games reproductions of SPI World War II games. World War II has also been replicated through miniatures tabletop wargaming. Games like Flames of War, Command Decision, Spearhead, Blitzkrieg Commander and others have become popular among historical miniature wargamers. A novelty is the upcoming of free internet-based wargames in high quality such as Final Round. One relatively new development of the World War II media franchise is that of video games. They are an extremely lucrative aspect of the gaming industry, and many titles are usually released every year. Some established games series about World War II include Battlefield 1942, Medal of Honor, Call of Duty, Close Combat, Day of Defeat, Day of Defeat, Source, Brothers in Arms, Wolfenstein 3D, arguably the highest acclaimed submarine simulator franchise so far, Silent Hunter, the Commandos series, as well as the grand strategy game Hearts of Iron 2. An RTS game was released based on America's Western campaign called Company of Heroes. 
In 2001, a massively multiplayer online game MMORG World War II Online was introduced, and has thousands of players refighting the 1940 Western Europe campaign. There are however also much older games about the war, the arcade game 1942 being one of many examples. The Soviet Union and Russia The Soviet Union incurred the heaviest casualties in World War II, and its history gave rise to an impressive number of films, poetry and prose, both in Russian and in many other languages of the country. The cultural homage to the Soviet soldiers and victims of World War II has been brought for decades. Films about the war are shot in modern-day Russia up to present day. A few pinnacles of the Soviet cinema dedicated to World War II include The Cranes Are Flying by Mikhail Kalatozov, Ivan's Childhood by Andrei Tarkovsky, and The Alive and the Dead by Alexander Stolper. Elam Klimov's Come and See is widely considered to be one of the greatest war movies ever made. Poetry, The Cranes, by the renowned Dagestani poet Rasul Gamzadov, Wait for Me, by Konstantin Simonov, I Am Goya by Andrei Voznesensky, It Has Snowed for Three Days, by Mustai Karim, a Bashkir poet. Sensitive issues In 1970, O wrote in Okinawa notes that members of the Japanese military had coerced masses of Okinawan civilians into committing suicide during the Allied invasion of the island in 1945. In 2005, two retired Japanese military officers sued O for libel, and in 2008, the Osaka District Court dismissed the case because, as the judge explained, the military was deeply involved in the mass suicides. O commented succinctly by saying, the judge accurately read my writing. <laughs> Pop culture reference The war has also influenced footballing soccer rivalries. Most notably, the subject of World War II is used as chants by fans of the English football team. One such chant is, Two World Wars and One World Cup, do da, do da. Campaigns, battles and so on have been commemorated throughout the 20th century and into the 21st century, mostly by veterans of the war and people that lived through it. In 2004 the commemoration of the D-Day landings took place which included, for the first time, German veterans of the war. Later that year, the commemoration of the campaigns in Italy and the Netherlands also took place. The 60th anniversary of the liberation of the Auschwitz concentration camp was commemorated in January 2005, while many other campaigns were also commemorated, as well as the end of the war in Europe and the Far East. World War II reenactment World War II reenactments mainly reenact the military personnel of the Allied powers or Axis powers. See also World War I in popular culture The Holocaust in popular culture List of World War II films Waffen SS in popular culture Winter War in popular culture Japanese history textbook controversies Prelude to war World War II reenactment Adolf Hitler in popular culture Nazis in fiction Topic Notes Topic References Hanks, Robert, 2001. World War II in American Art. Jefferson, North Carolina, McFarland. ISBN 978-0-7864-0985-3. Meredith, James H. 1999. Understanding the Literature of World War II, a student casebook to issues, sources, and historical documents. Westport, Connecticut, Greenwood Publishing Group. ISBN 978-0-313-30417-0 Rosenfeld, David M. 2002. Unhappy Soldier, Hino Ashihei and Japanese World War II Literature. Lanham, Maryland, Lexington Books. ISBN 978-0-7391-0365-4 Roy, Panaki 2006 The Stomach of a War, Perceiving Second World War Through Keith Douglas's Poems. 
The Atlantic Critical Review Quarterly ISSN 0972-6373, ISBN 81-269-0747-9-5-4, October to December 2006 to 1-13. Roy, Panaki The Scarlet Critique. New Delhi, Sarup Book Publishers. ISBN 978-81-7625-991-0 Roy, Panaki here are the war poets, Keith Douglas and other English versifiers of the Second World War. The Atlantic Literary Review Quarterly ISSN 0972-3269, ISBN 978-81-269-1674-0-12-4, October to December 2011-23-36. Roy, Panaki Love in Times of War, Amorous English Poems of the Second World War. The Visva Bharati Quarterly ISSN 0972-043-X 21 3 and 4 and 22 1 and 2, October 2012 to September 2013, 142 to 55. Roy, Panaki Muses at Arms, Reading Select Second World War Poems by Keith Douglas and Aylan Lewis. Modernism vis a vis postmodernism, a sojourn. Ed. Dasgupta, A. Haura, Imprint, 2014 pp. 148-56. Wood, Edward W. 2007. Worshipping the Myths of World War II, Reflections on America's Dedication to War. Potomac Books. ISBN 978-1-59797-163-8. External links Canadian War Museum, Australia, Britain and Canada in the Second World War, 2005. F.S. Lytton. Animals, Children and War in Japanese Picture Books. 2011 Azori Zdes Tikia film by Stanislav Rostotsky.